Hello Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus. Welcome to your Avalon Rituals reading for June 2021. My name is Julia. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, I'm going to lay out the Lenormand already in the middle of March for you now because I'm going to Scotland on the Monday. So I want to get a couple of the readings at least done for you guys so you can have a look into the energies and not need to wait hopefully as long as you did the last time. Um, anyway, so this is a reading that is basically then um, from the moment you watch it up to the end of June. This, uh, these are the energies for you. Um, now make sure to watch your other placements as well to get the big picture and to see what resonates most with you. Uh, you are this lady no matter of your gender. So you as a Virgo here at the, bot uh, the top row. And we do have the gentleman here, which is the person you're dealing with. It could be a friend, could be a love interest or a past relationship. Um, I will see how this all develops. Now, the first thing I see is that you are in the house of the snake and I feel like you are healing. You're healing, you're changing because the stalk is in your house. So there's a big change going on for you where you're shedding your skin, where you're healing, where you're transforming something. And I can also see this because left and right to you are very beautiful cards of stability, of new growth and luck and happiness and success. Now, there is a person that you already, I feel like this person is someone you already know. Let me see. And there's a lot of stability between you guys. So either this is a past life connection and maybe this is why you know this person or this person is already in your life for quite a long time. This person is going to be a big influence on you or for you in your life. Um, might be someone who's very strong and influential, maybe someone in a leading position. Now, there seems to be something a little bit unsure about long-term plans though, and there's some sort of decision, but I also feel a decision here is gonna bring in success. And um, let's see what this is all about. I'm just gonna work my way up from you two here. So, I feel like there has been an ending or stagnation in your love life, but I also feel like things are moving forward again. There is something new coming into your relationship life and also into your love life, which could be a new phase in your love life. If this is if this is a person you already oh sorry already know and you are in a relationship with, then there might be a new phase in your love life coming. Um, but it could also refer to that there might be another person in your love life uh, coming, a new relationship coming. There's a very destined energy when it comes to your relationships here. I do see success. I do see success and happiness here when it comes to a relationship. Someone is coming in, something is moving forward. But what I also see is that there has been some sort of stagnation or maybe you even felt like there was some sadness in your heart. Um, but I feel like this new person who's gonna come in is going to help you heal those aspects as well. And maybe this is why you are in this energy of change, transformation, shedding the old skin. And that might be actually this person here then who has this influence on you on really helping you out here. Um, there might be someone in a leading position, maybe even a teacher. It's a very protective energy. So I get a very protective energy of this person here. Also, I see very beautiful cards because luck is coming in. Um, the energy of the clover is the energy of Jupiter of expansion. So we have expansion growth here, successful solutions and successful partnerships here no matter if this is um because this could be different things right it could mean that one aspect was that there is a conflict because of an ending that has happened in your relationship life that you were still carrying here with the um with the coffin but also the sun is in the house of the coffin so there's a lot of luck and happiness now being shown onto the energies of grief and sadness so i do feel like things are going to turn pretty good when it comes to your relationship life and you're going to be able to find solutions to this conflict here. Um, you yourself, are, oh wow, there might be, there are really beautiful energies around you. There is love, there's joy, there is trust again, friendship is coming in, support is coming in. Um, we do have the lilies, uh, the lilies can stand for harmony and peace, which is something that I'm getting here a lot uh, that might refer to a father, a father figure or an older male person, but doesn't have to. I'm just saying this for the people who resonate with this energy, that there might be an older male friend or love person coming in or is in your life. But also I get a strong sense of this is really bringing in some peace and harmony into your life. And this is what you're mirrored onto. So there are beautiful friendships that are very supporting, possibly a new love that is very supporting here or something new in your love life that is supporting your inner peace, balance and growth. I do feel 
when we go zoom a little bit out what we can see that there are some blockages for you because of things not being quite clear and this ending and also the blockage here is related to the separation and ending and this ending has happened in the past because of uh, someone not being completely honest and trustworthy here maybe someone someone was a bit sneaky and also because of this influence we have here I feel like this new beginning feels a little bit blocked or challenged for you because maybe are you having a hard time trusting now I do feel though there is protection and trust coming into your life this whole thing in the center of the reading is connected to the cross and the cross has been a lesson for you. So in this whole blockage challenge, the challenge or the, the challenge could have become and the challenge could be the, le the lesson you need to learn, the karmic lesson, becoming independent. And maybe this whole situation that has happened in the past were suddenly showing you you need to become independent even if this is challenging for you. And this whole lesson has also to do with the flowers. And the flowers stand for appreciating yourself or for creativity. So a lesson could have been um, related to your creativity and what you create, but also about appreciation. Do you let kind, loving energies into your life? Uh, do you make the right choices to let these people in? Um, or do you make choices to let other people in that are not reflecting back a loving, kind energy into your life? Now, this might be why you are a bit confused when it comes to long-term plans and when it comes to stability and when it also comes to decisions. Because in the past, you have made decisions that were not reflecting kindness and love and appreciation back into your life. I do feel this is shifting now and it is shifting, especially because you are shifting here. You are shifting and changing. Now this person might be someone coming in from afar. Like I've said, this might be a past life connection, uh, might be someone from a foreign country, maybe this person loves traveling or has some sort of connections to foreign countries. I do feel this person is a karmic partner. A karmic partner helping you with the lesson here, bringing in luck, expansion and growth. We do see this positive change, the influence here as well, related to this person, which is a bit something that I said at the beginning of the reading already. I feel like this person is going to help you cutting through the mist and bringing you in the solution and the success and therefore the new beginning in your relationship life. Let me see what else. Yes, in the what I can see here, there was a connection. I feel like because of what happened in the past that there might have been something hidden from you in your love life, um, that there is definitely a lesson where you need to build up your own stability inside of yourself again after this experience with the Fox energy, which could cause still like to it still could cause a little bit of stress and nervousness here. when it comes to making decisions, decisions to your love life or to your emotional life. I'm just quickly gonna see which energies I haven't went into. into. So that was that. Let's have a look onto the anchor because the anchor also can stand for, law, uh, for, for work. It's a typical card for work. In that sense, we could have communication in your work life, communication around work, negotiations, or maybe even a contract being here, a work contract. M there might be a new beginning that is really joyful to you when it comes to your work life. Maybe even a situation in your work life have, has been stuck or you might have experienced some sort of ending here as well. Some contract could have ended, but now there is new negotiation and new joy coming into your work life. You might work from home. That could be something here as well building up your new stability and also something is really coming in here into your work life that is also very destined with the star here. So I feel like something that you needed to let go of is like it's like a destiny energy. It's a clearing. It's literally a clearing. It's like we needed to clear these energies out in order for you to to feel joy and happiness and appreciation in your work life as well as in other areas of your life. Because sometimes the old energies need to leave and they need to go because they are not reflecting love, kindness, appreciation. And therefore it's it's important to make these decisions. Sometimes these de decisions are being taken out of our hands. But if that is the case, then it's always the divine stepping into. And this is something that I feel here. 
let me see. So you are going through a big change, a big change related to your own instability, uh, related to to work, whether it's new communication, negotiation or contracts. Uh, it might be that there's some sort of excitement because something that you have wished for, I get the energy of something you have wished for, uh, a karmic situation where you feel like this is heavy, this is important, um, where a beautiful surprise is coming in. This beautiful surprise can only manifest in the outside because you feel this already inside. You feel like you're worth it. You are absolutely worth the most amazing things because you have worked hard for it. So things are moving forward here, which might refer to you needing to let go of something, you needing to let go of the conflict that you still carry, the conflict because of some sort of knowledge or secrets that have been in your life in a way. These are the uh, conflicting energies that could hold you a little bit back. So uh, Spirit is saying, let them go in order for your heart uh, to be healed again, to be transformed, because from the heart we go to coffin and the sun. And once you let go of this conflict and leave it in the past and say, you know what, this wasn't a failure. It happened exactly the way it should have happened. And I've taken a lot of experiences, personal, personal and spiritual growth out of it. I know now people a little bit better. I'm now a bit more mindful, a bit more careful, because the fox could also stand about um, stand for being mindful and careful, having a careful approach. That could be um um, part of your part of your lesson here as well and I feel like once you let the energies of the conflict go of the past you will be able to deeply transform your heart your emotions your joy and manifesting new um, harmony and peace into your life all right Virgo I hope you resonate with the reading if so leave a like a comment or subscribe to the channel activate the bell so you're going to be posted about new videos I upload, sending you all so much love from Avalon.